Hello! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up this 3D looking tail. Let's get right into it. So we're going to be working with an asymmetrical tail here. I do have an example up on my Ko-Fi page as well for symmetrical tails. If you guys are interested in a video for that, then please do let me know in the comments down below. First thing we're going to need to do on our tail here is create the mesh. Now I already have the mesh created on this one, so let me show you how our mesh is going to be set up here. So we're going to cover the outside line of our tail with a two wide mesh, whilst our inner scales are going to have a one wide mesh. And you may notice that I do not have any points between these meshes either. This is because we're going to be using this for our 3D effect later. We're going to go ahead and select our Deform Path Edit tool. And we're going to place a few points along our tail here. Once we're done with that, go up to Modeling, Skinning, and then use Deformation Path for Skinning. And once the skinning is finished, we go back to that menu again, and we're going to generate parameters for Rotation Deformer. Go ahead and name this tail, and set the range of angle to whatever you'd like. I generally go with 45. Once that's set, your new parameters will be ready. So this is going to be all of our tail movements. Now we're going to set up our physics real quick. So we're going to go up to modeling again, physics settings. And we're going to add a new group. We're going to call this tail. Do not set an input preset, but you can set your physics model preset to 10 divided. Add a new input and set it to breath. Change the type to angle and set the effectiveness to 100. We're also going to change the normalization of input. Change the angle to minus 70 and the maximum to 70. Next we go to the output settings and we're going to add all of our new tail parameters. Now you'll notice that I have more parameters than I have pendulums. You want to have the exact amount of pendulums that you have parameters. So we're going to go ahead and add a few here. So now that each parameter is on its own pendulum, we're going to go ahead and increase the output. This is going to make it sway a lot, so we need to go ahead and adjust down these numbers a little bit. I'm also going to need to edit our pendulums here. Because as you can see, it's not reacting how we want it to. We're going to increase the overall acceleration. Should be at least two. This is going to take a little bit of trial and error to get the correct numbers for your specific tail. So we've done a little bit of tweaking here and the numbers are going to completely depend on how you want your tail to look. But as a general rule of thumb, you want the duration to be low, the shaking influence to be low, the reaction time to be at about one, and the overall acceleration to be a bit higher at around two plus. Next, we're actually going to do the 3D effect. This is where the fun bit starts. We're going to go ahead and select all of our skinned art meshes. And with all of those selected, Put two new keyforms on your first tail parameter. It's usually zero tail. So this is our first pendulum. As you can see, it's just the base of our tail moving. So we're going to set this to one first. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the lasso tool. And we're going to very carefully select our inner line of mesh here. With that selected, we're going to go back to our cursor and then we'll go up to modeling, temporary deform tool, and then select temporary path deformation. We're going to go ahead and place some points along our tail here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to move this up towards the top side of our tail. So you'll see when I move this, it's going to drag the texture of our tail up towards the top side of our tail. Like so. Don't forget to click the blue tick. Now that we've done the right side, we're going to do the left side of the parameter here. Let's set that to the left side. And with our middle line still selected, we're going to go back and select our temporary path deformation again. Set our points across our tail. And this time we're going to pull it in towards the bottom side of our tail. So that is all done there. And now when we go back into the physics window, you're going to see that it's starting to rotate along with the tail. The 3D effect on this tail is going to be more noticeable if you set up the scale on your first pendulum here. Let's go ahead and just set this to 15, for example. You're seeing it's going to be swaying even more. So as you can see, our tail is now turning as it sways. And that is how we set up a 3D effect tail in Live 2D. The file used in the tutorial today is also available for free on my Ko-Fi store, link down below, so that you can follow along whilst you watch the video. For all my practical learners out there who might have an easier time learning with a file, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more live 2D and VTubing content, and like the video so you can come back to it super easily. Thank you for watching, and best of luck in your live 2D projects!